Hello YouTube and welcome to another episode of Deno Beer Review. Bad weather outside, time for a bad beer. I went to Aldi supermarket, got myself some Carl's Quell. As you remember, the Schultenbräu I got from Aldi was uh, reasonably okay for a budget pilsner. Let's see if this does as well. Has an American bald eagle on the front for whatever reason. And as you can see, it reads, First quality brewed in Belgium. First quality, that means it's going to be shit. Anyway, let's give it a shot anyway. It's not refrigerated. For reviewing purposes. Woo, damn. This almost has a sourness to it. Is this... Is this past its best before date? Nope, best before date, 10th of May 2013. I guess it's supposed to have that. A lot of malt. No real hops. Yeah, mostly this malt. No offensive, really, chemical smell, though. I guess that's good. But the malt is really pretty forward and aggressive. Mm. Very urine yellow. Not super thin. The head very um, foamy and artificial. Yeah, this is lager. Look at that. Bubbles streaming up there. Looks uh, fairly sexy, I have to say, for uh, your average supermarket lager. Ooh. Yeah, that smells like the can. And again, the malt, 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 all malt. Um, it does say ingredients contains barley malt. Maybe that's everything that's in here. I don't know. Yeah, the head's very artificial. Um, does go down though. It's got big bubbles. Yeah. The carbonation does slow down once you've poured it. Kind of. Yeah. I don't know. It kind of looks pretty. Anyway, let's give it a taste. Jesus. This has got hot bitterness. This is actually good. This is good. What is this about? Like, th where have you been all this time? What the f It's good. The, the smell isn't great because it's mostly malts, but the taste is hops and and a nice malt body. This, this is good. What the? For most people, it'll probably be too bitter, and the bitterness does linger. Not the best lager I've ever had by a long shot, but damn, for the price range, this is, I just can't fault this, why, why, why didn't they pick, this is the best budget lager, it's good, I think, it, I think it barely qualifies as a budget lager because I think this is somewhere around the region of uh, 
50 cents a can for 33 centiliters, so that's not too budget. But for like the three color print design and the really artificial head, it doesn't taste bad. It really does it. Mostly bitterness and pretty one dimensional, but it's drinkable. Carl's Coil, man. Buy it, try it, if you're ever in Alley. Later.